What's up everybody, it's your girl Shantae, back with another episode of Chatting with Shantae. How in the world are y'all doing? Me, I am doing fabulous. So if you couldn't tell from that beginning clip or the title, honey, we are talking about Beyonce, Giselle, Nose Carter, the first. After six long years since she released Lemonade, Mother has graced us with another solo project, Renaissance Act One. Baby, I have been screaming, I have been twerking, I think I've lost three pounds since this drop, <laughs> this uh, the drop of this album because Mama took us on a roller coaster ride with this album. Okay, absolutely love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you my rating right now. It's a good ten out of ten. So if you were waiting to hear that, there you go. It's a 10 out of 10 for me, okay? Now, let me tell you, I wanted to do this video a few days ago, right? But something told me to wait, okay? Something told me to, to wait because, listen, this is how I know we are in a true era again, okay? Wait, I didn't give a proper intro. Okay, my bad, y'all. So, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified when I drop a video. Grab your snacks, grab, grab your drinks, and prop your feet up, and let's get it, let's go. Anyway, child, so now we are in a true era okay because i feel like here lately we haven't been getting eras lately okay so now we in the era it's controversy it's people mad it's crazy headlines going on i was like oh she's taking it right so something told me to wait a little bit before i did this video because something told me girl it's gonna be some stuff that goes on you know during the duration of the first week and boy was i right so we're gonna get into those things as well okay so i'm gonna do it track by track you know just get my review real quick and i did want to do like an initial first listen reaction but chow when 11 o'clock hit thursday night and the album was ready to be listened to i put on my headphones and i went into a whole nother world i am so sorry okay but i'm still hype okay it's been a good week almost uh well today's wednesday when i'm recording this so tomorrow will make a, a week so you know it's been a good week since the album has dropped and i've given it thorough listens you know listening to it multiple times a day every day so i think i have a pretty solid review here so if you see me looking down, I have my notes on my phone here, and we're gonna get right into it. So, my good sis, Beyonce Giselle knows Carter the first. She wants to open up the album with a song called I'm That Girl. Baby, when the track list got revealed and it showed that the first song, the album opener, was gonna be called I'm That Girl, baby, I was like, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one already. Like, no one has to tell me anything. Number one, okay? So, in my notes, I said it was like the older sister to bow down. Meaning, when you have sisters, it's typically the younger sister that's a little bit more, you know, hot-headed, like, what's good? That's bow down, okay? Bow down, she was like, what's good? What you want to do? I'm that B, okay? And you know this, what you want to do? What you want to do? Versus, I'm that girl is the older sister, you know, a little bit more mild man or a little bit more mild tempered, like, okay, let's not get too rowdy just yet. And it's the exact same message, just a different delivery, okay? And basically, she's really like embracing, not saying she's just now embracing it. I, I, Beyonce's been feeling herself as she should, but she's really just letting it be known, hey, I know who I am. I'm that girl. Like, and it's not the fact that I woke up one day just deciding to be who I am. I was literally born, okay, like this. Like, I came out the womb and greatness came out the womb as well. Like, I didn't ask for this power. Like she said, I didn't want this power. I didn't ask for this, but I'm truly that B and you have to respect it. Like, there's no one else like me. There's nothing you can do. The song opens up with, <clears throat> excuse me, the song opens up with these mother ain't stopping me. And you hear that all throughout the song. And she's really like, I'm Beyonce. <laughs> like, I be wondering if my face be realizing who they are. She, well, first of all, she's already let us know and moved forever on the gift. I am Beyonce. Giselle knows Carter. Like, she's been giving us subtle hints like, baby, I know who I am. I know who I am. So I'm that girl is really just her letting us know, oh, y'all ain't got to tell me who I am. I know it's not my man. It's not the jewelry. It's not the money. It's not the fame. It's literally in my DNA. I literally cannot help the fact that I am the way that I am. And it's just like, yes, ma'am. You have no choice but to respect that, right? 10 out of 10. So then we get into Cozy. Oh, I love Cozy. It feels so good. You know, you know, you know, okay. So this album is all about self-love and self-acceptance because it is an ode to different communities and stuff like that. Communities that often get overlooked, uh, ostracized from so uh, society and things like that. So this is really a letter to us like, hey, not only do I know I'm that girl, but I need you to realize that as well, okay? Get into that place where you're like, 
wait a minute i'm not too bad myself pat your own self on the back on the back realize who you are and embrace it step fully into it right so cozy is like i'm comfortable in my skin cozy with who i am no one can you know uh take that away from me i'm cozy okay and it just makes you want to dance it's all types of 70s 80s house music ballroom like it's so many different like afro beats so many different genres and communities just being infused into one is such a feel good album and it's exactly what we needed at this time on earth okay the ghetto um <laughs> just letting it be be known and you know that funk comes in you got that tina marie i want to say maybe rick james i might be lying but you know all that funk when the horns come in when she goes down the um pride flag colors baby paint the world what color be what pink oh i love beyonce oh i love listen i'm about to be screaming i'm so sorry listen i love me some beyonce okay but listen cozy i absolutely love that song right so then the song uh track number three that has everybody just in a frenzy everyone is in a trance and i'm not gonna lie to you when the track list got revealed and i saw that number three was called alien superstar i was like has she gotten a disney plus account and binge watch all three of the xenon girl of the 21st century movies like has she been listening to boom 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 like zoom 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 made my heart go boom boom my supernova girl like where do we get this from baby when you listen to the song first of all it's such a oh the production of these songs oh my goodness it's otherworldly literally um this production the way she has these songs is you're listening to one song okay but it sounds like two or three different ones just going back and forth right and then the transitions are so seamless i was saying to myself i said self this is the, about the one of the only albums if not the only album that i will listen to in order you know what i'm saying like with albums nowadays and this is no shade and it's not just nowadays just music in general you can like just you know pick what songs from the album you want to listen to listen to them all out of order and stuff like that i really feel like this album is meant to be played in order just because the transitions they flow so well into one another and i can't just you know listen to it like number 12 the number three the number 15 the number one i can't do it okay and if you're someone who be hitting the shuffle button on the very first listen why <laughs> why do you do that actually okay even if it's not meant to flow together why do you do that but this album just flows so beautifully so going back to alien superstar the vocals the harmonies listen to those backgrounds okay listen to those backgrounds her harmonies her lower registers her higher registers, everything beautiful but the overall message of the song which is why i love it so much is kind of going with the same theme of i'm that girl basically like you can't put me in a box with no other woman no other person the way i think there's only one person like me and it's me i'm one of one i'm number one i'm the only one like that's how she opens up the song like no one can think like me don't even try to compete like what y'all think is the highest level i surpass that i am not of this world like i am so out of the box i am so incredible i am so amazing i'm on a whole different level that y'all can't even fathom it's literally otherworldly i'm not of this world i am an alien superstar like you know what i'm saying i absolutely love it where's my stress sorry <laughs> but i love this i'm seeing so many different visuals i'm not sure if we're getting a visual album to be quite honest like if every single song is going to have a visual i would absolutely love it <laughs> okay just just let me be known i would love if all uh 16 of these songs had um visuals i'm not sure how it's going to be rolled out we do know this is act one i'm not sure and there are three uh parts so i'm not sure if the music is act one and then the visuals act two the tour is act three i'm not sure how beyonce has it again she's an alien super Star, so i'm not even gonna try and think the way she does because my brain will be fried but i will say i was in my feelings for a little bit when they were like oh the visuals were uh gonna be coming later for, what you mean coming later for what but then when you hear the album it's like oh i understand great decision parkwood great decision because uh-uh i don't think i would have been able to handle the visuals and the audio in one night maybe uh-uh y'all would have been sweeping my edges anyway so yes i love alien superstar category bad bitch i'm the bar i'm the i'm the standard i'm the standard and no one no regular chick is going to get to that level oh who beyonce okay now let's get into my song baby 
Cuff It. This was the song that I claimed when we saw the track list. Mm, mm. I love Cuff It. Cuff It is a good time, okay? It truly makes you want to grab your roller skates. And someone on Twitter said this. If you are a big fan, like if Blow from Self Title is one of your favorite songs, then this album is for you. A lot of these songs really are reminiscent of that. I love it. Even like, I would say even Greenlight from B-Day, you know, like those type of funky tracks. Absolutely love it. Um, so Cuff It is a good time. It makes you just want to get cuffed up, okay? Just have a good time on the dance floor with your boo thing and just love on each other. And a lot of these songs have kind of like the same underlying message of my loving is so good it's gonna take you to a whole nother planet okay like her whole thing is just otherworldly like it's just amazing and so she's like you know i'll bet you you'll see far you'll be seeing stars you're gonna be elevating you're gonna meet god okay that's how good i'm gonna put it on you that's how good this love feels she's like i ain't gotta uh, take no extra drugs to you know be on no freaky stuff like i'm already naturally high off this love off this life like she's really in a place where she's just happy all the time like with her family and her fr she's just in a really good space and it's just a natural high like high off a of life type of situation getting nasty having the nastiest sexuals with her husband been that just make her feel high that she thinks she's talking to god it's just oh it's just amazing i love it okay you got that tina marie up in there oh i think i said uh, tina marie and rick james for the other song but i meant for this one but that funk comes in oh my goodness and then the vocals like they peel back the instrumental and it's just her vocals whoo i thought that this video was gonna be way more calm um and right now i am calm like this right now compared to how it was when the album dropped oh this is very calm but i thought it was gonna be a little bit calmer <laughs> the beyonce okay so number five all right so let's get into it y'all so and not to make this a because this is a positive video this is a fun video but real quick so number five is energy i absolutely love that song the shortest song on the album with at just under two minutes has sparked the most conversation okay so I'm not going to go too much into it just because it's not my business. But you know the whole Khalees situation, you know, about Beyonce sampling her and not, you know, reaching out to let her know. And then Pharrell and Chad, the Neptunes, own her uh, masters and, you know, whole big ordeal. And my whole thing about the entire situation was, why you told us? <laughs> what can we do? Um, you have more of a direct line of contact to Beyonce and Pharrell than I do. But I understand, you know, and I understand her feelings. So if you're not one-sided, you can uh, clearly see both sides of, you know, what was going on. But then, you know, be, uh, Khalees said her main issue wasn't with Beyonce. But then she was saying that Beyonce got Satan. And, you know, her sister was saying she ain't got no personality. I was like, now how do we go from Beyonce? I wish you would have called me, girl, to you are dating the devil. Like, how did we jump to these levels, okay? Like, how did we get here, okay? So I'm not going to make this uh, part about this because it's a fun vibe. It's a fun song. But apparently, okay, allegedly, mm -mm, Queen B was like, okay, well, since I'm walking with the devil, I'm about to snatch your name and this sampling credit off this song. T do that. I was like, ooh. <laughs> so, ooh. Now, there are some reports saying that's not true. Some people saying it is true. I don't know yet. Um... I don't know but shall all I know is energy I love it it like the only way I can describe it is energy it just makes you want to get up and dance and just you know the afro beats come in and it's real nice and fun but my favorite part about energy is literally the last like 12 to 15 seconds when you start to hear Big Frida's voice come in again the transitions are so impeccable like just amazing okay <clears throat> excuse me but yeah like the way you hear Big Frida's voice comes in, yeah, 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 like amazing. And then it goes right into Break My Soul. I'm about to explode, take off the love, ah! It sounds so good. So going into Break My Soul, when, you know, the single, the first single off the album, and when it came out by itself, you know, as just a single, I really enjoyed it. You know, it has that New Orleans bounce element, which is near and dear to my heart. Y'all know I'm from Louisiana. And you know, that house music, it just represented summer. You know, she, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, she dropped it like the first day of summer. So it's a real feel good song, just letting go of all your stress, all your troubles, anything, any place, any person that's bothering you, that's stressing you out, that's not for your good. Let let them go and live your life okay so that's what that song represents a really good fun song i absolutely love it and hearing it by itself is one is one thing but when you hear it in the context of the album with the transition from energy going into it and just knowing the exact the exact vibe of the album because when we heard the song by itself at least for me 
you know, we're like, okay, now what kind of vibe is she going to give us? I mean, we kind of had an idea based off like her Vogue pictures and stuff like that. But it's like, huh. And then Break My Soul was our first introduction to what the album was going to be sounding like. So it's like, okay, this is new. This is different. But when you hear all the components together, chef's kiss, okay? So that's very amazing. I keep forgetting that my song is the next song, child. Who let me say it myself, baby? Let's talk about the track. Let's talk about the track. Number seven. Church girl? Baby, let me tell y'all something. This is truly a if you know, you know type of a song, okay? Because this song was for a very specific group of people, all right? So the track list gets revealed, right? Well, I gotta go through the story. And I'm looking through the track and I'm seeing about 99.9% .9 of the album got ease next to it, okay? With the exception of what, three or four songs? So I'm like, okay, explicit tracks, okay. And Church Girl is one of them. I was like, now, nah, hopefully, hopefully you're not cursing while you're talking about the Lord. I noticed that what we'll be doing Beyonce. Maybe you're just frustrated. Okay, okay. So we see she sampled the Clark sisters. Twinkie Clark got on the piano saying, thank you, Beyonce. I was like, yes, okay. So I thought this was going to be a midway point through the album. She's slowing it down, just giving us raw emotional vocals, taking us to church, introducing us back to the Lord after we've been twerking for 30 minutes already. I was like, okay, all right. I was ready. I was ready to go to church. I, I actually was ready. I had sat down and was ready. The first 20 seconds is church <laughs> the first 20 seconds is church that 21st second onward you are throwing your behind in a circle and you don't know how you got there bay b when that beat drops don't talk to me when that beat drops oh only beyonce can turn a song called church girl have us thinking for the first 20 seconds that we are fit to just be in praise and worship and you on a handstand throwing your butt in a circle. You just don't know how you got there. You don't know how you got there, okay? And why I say it's for a very specific group of people that are listening. <clears throat> I can't talk about nobody else's church experiences from different regions, different parts of the world. I can only talk about my own, okay? Uh, being in the South, okay, being black, going to a Southern Black Baptist church, okay? If you know, you know, all right? And she even alluded to, you know, act like you're from the South, okay? Throw that ass like you up from up the South. Ooh! <laughs> I'm okay. I'm sorry. I just got emotional. I just got really emotional just now. Because she was talking to me. She said, Shantae, this song is for you, baby. Thank you. And I, I can only imagine how the preacher's kids went off. Because myself, I'm not a preacher's kid. However, my uncle was the preacher, the pastor at my church, well up into my adulthood till the last few years ago, right? And you know when your grandmother's been going to that church since well before you were born, she know everybody. My grandmother has her own designated pew. My grandmother has a pew, Okay. Like, you know, when you someone's sitting in your unassigned assigned seat and they're like, well, I don't see your name on it. Her name is on it. Her name and family. That's me. So, like, it's serious, okay? And everybody knows everybody, especially when you're in a small town, small state. Chow, this was for us, okay? This was for us. And she was like, listen, you know I got church in the morning, but I'm going to turn up, okay? She said, I'm going to drop it like a thotty, drop it like a thotty. I said, now pop it like a thotty, pop it like a thotty. And you know what the funniest thing about this entire song is? The first thing is, while we're twerking, while she's telling us to dip it low and bring it up slow, okay, you still hear remnants of the Clark sisters humming about the Lord. It didn't go away. Just because the beat dropped, the whole church element did not disappear, okay? It didn't disappear. Like, it's... It's supposed to bring it back to girl you you in the church wait and then the very end when she comes in with the church him hum it was like wait this was a church song the whole time oh my god if we if we don't get a visual if we don't get a visual of beyonce at somebody's church listen i promise you it was like the visual i got from this <clears throat> in my head 
imagine you driving down a long, you know, country road, right? You and your friend, it's a Sunday. You're thinking y'all going to church, right? So that first 20 seconds of the drive is Mount Zion Hill Baptist Church right here. And then the pink right here, okay, on this side. And so you're just driving along, riding along. And right when y'all about to turn left into the Baptist Church parking lot, skirt, when that beat drops, oh, Okay, you thought you was gonna go talk to Bishop T.D. Jakes. Oh, Uncle Clifford walked out like, hey, it's over here, baby. Mm, 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 mm. It must be the cash cause it ain't your face. It must be the cash cause it ain't your face. Now do it, baby, stick it, baby, do it, baby, stick it, baby, do it, baby, stick it, baby. Oh, only Beyonce. Who? And then ended it with the church hum. Oh, I'm, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Only Beyonce could make me throw my behind in a circle while the twerk, the, the, the twerk sisters, Jesus, while the Clark sisters are still humming in the background. Now that is musical genius. All right, so let's slow things down with Plastic Off the Sofa, child. Plastic Off the Sofa, again, was a great way to slow down the album, especially after that song. Beyonce, I know you're not trying to kill me. Let me catch my breath. Let me get a water break. So she's like, okay, girl, I'm gonna let you chill. And even though this was the song where she just really straight clowned with her vocals because she had to remind folks especially for people who may have forgotten she's a vocalist first okay she gives us great choreography she gives us great hairography she gives us bomb everything okay but she's a vocalist okay a vocalist so she's like let me slow things down but it's not a slow song not like a ballad. It has like a little, it has an upbeat tempo, but it's still about her flexing these vocals, right? Chow. So this is like a love letter. Like this is kind of her letting us know where she and Jay-Z are at in their, you know, marriage. Like they're in a really good place with one another. You know what I'm saying? And in my notes, I said it reminded me of uh, Flaws and All and No Angel. Not the way it sounds necessarily, but the message she's talking about, like, in all those songs, you know, she's like, you know, we have scars, we have imperfections, but we see past those things on one another. We love each other for those things. We don't judge each other for those things. Like, you have you having a rough moment, it's okay. We gonna bounce back, we gonna make love. You know, we gonna make up and make love. You know, that's what she says in the song. And so that's where, you know, her and Jay-Z are at in their, you know, marriage, their relationship. Like, they're not worried about what the outside world got to say. They're just focused on loving on each other, their children, their family family making money you know staying to themselves and she's like listen and she's basically like talking about the little small details about himself you know like the way he looks at her and the way he acts and stuff like that just i love every bit i love everything about you you know what i'm saying and you love everything about me and we're gonna love each other up okay but shall <laughs> It's a nasty song when you really think about it. I'm just saying. But the vocals. Oh, she was hitting notes that only a select few can even attempt. I didn't say could accomplish. I said could attempt. How? I called myself trying to do it. And listen, I'm nobody. I cannot sing at all. I don't know why I played myself doing that. But Child Plastic Off the Sofa is such a beautiful song. It's just really a love letter to her husband and just kind of letting us know, yeah, we have our moments, we have our ups and downs and stuff like that, but guess what? We bounce back. Our love is strong. We are in a really good place. We ain't got to prove that to nobody. We got kids to raise. We just making money and having sex. And, you know, isn't that, isn't that the goal? Isn't that the goal? <laughs> so I love Plastic Off the Sofa. <clears throat> And let's get into Virgo, baby. I need to like, I've been yelling for a week. Oh my gosh. Um, but get into Virgo's groove. So this is the longest song off the album at a little over six minutes. And the Capricorn in me was looking like, oh, that's cute. Because listen, if you remember, I can't talk. If you remember her song, Signs of Danger and Love, she paid Capricorn's dust dust i was like okay and then she got her song called virgos groove baby them virgos was like oh we won y'all did because this is my song <laughs> i ain't gonna lie okay but i love virgos my mom's a virgo my best friend's a virgo they both born on the same day so it's all good so virgos groove another good song about how good their love making is how good she is in bed i just love it actually but the thing about beyonce when she's talking about 
sex and her body and stuff like that it's not in a raunchy way it still has a little bit of mystery to it it has like wordplay and things like that like is that wait what does she mean by that uh, oh it has like those type of feels to it so i love how she kind of puts it in your face but not like uh you know i love it so virgo's groove let me just tell you baby who how, how's my part how is my part okay i want it right here right now cuddled up on the couch, motorboat, baby, spin around. Oh, <laughs> slow that. Oh, slow mo, coming on my blouse. I want it right here, right now. Oh, I can be the one to take you there. Oh, on this love ride, oh, magic ride, whatever she said. Mm. Baby, you can hit this. Don't be scared. Oh, that is my part. She goes into it. Okay, I love it. Oh, Virgo's groove is a feel-good time, makes you want to dance, but also her just expressing how good her sex is. Exactly. All right. So, move. Move with um, Tim's, with Grace Jones. Grace? Grace Jones? Grace Jones? Oh, she ate that up, okay? Move is a good time. It reminds me so much of uh, my power energy off this album my power from the gift it has that bold it has that aggression not in a negative way but like it's just really bold you know has that afrocentric feel to it and it's really like an anthem for the girls like me and my girls y'all gonna have to move out the way when we step up in this club okay we is getting ready to dance battle we is getting ready to do moves y'all ain't seen yet move out the way move 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 i said wait <laughs> But she came in like that. Move, move, move. Oh, excuse me. Anything you do will be held against you. Okay, I love this song. And when it goes into that, me and my girlfriend came out to play. Oh, Beyonce. It's like she takes you one way and then she dips it and does it and does it and dips it and then she brings you back. I love move. That's like a good me and my girls getting ready to head on out. Like y'all getting ready to head to the club. You're driving there. Like it's a good, yes, we in our we in our mode. We finna F some stuff up. We finna have a good fun time. I love that song. And then he, show. I gotta cool it down, heat it. Cool me off, heat it. Baby, let me tell you about heat it. Heat it is my song. I said heat it is my song. Now this did spark a little bit of controversy as well. Um, So really quickly, cause again, I don't wanna take away from the overall feeling of this video and the album. But um, you know, y'all remember when Lizzo, a while back she had came out with her song and she had the word spaz on there, okay? And a lot of people were like, oh, that's offensive, you know, to certain people, disabled people, that's not a good word, that's really offensive, you know? So she uh, changed it and she, you know, did away with it. So Beyonce came out with her song, Heated, and she also has a part where she's like <clears throat> going off, okay? She's going off towards the end which i'll get into in a second and she also says that word as well so people are like oh beyonce can say it lizzo can't you know so some people are having a little issue with that so beyonce actually did go back into the studio or she may have already had this ready i don't know but um she went back and she changed the lyrics so instead of saying spaz it says blasting which it still goes hard okay blasting on that ass blast on that ass oh <laughs> yes ma'am okay so what I love about Heated is, for one, it takes you into two different worlds, like wow, but Heated is kind of going back to that alien superstar, going back to that um, I'm that girl. You really can't put me in a box with these other people. And the fact that you think that you I can be compared with, compared to, with any old regular Jane, that's making me heated. It's pissing me off that you think if we break up, you're going to be able to find somebody else like me at your local Walmart? I don't think so. I'm one of one. Okay, so once you lose me, you lose you lose it. Okay, you ain't gonna find nobody. You're gonna spend the whole rest of your life trying to find somebody who's not even half of what I am. And the fact that you think that there's just a whole bunch of me walking around, I'm heated. I'm pissed, okay? And then as the song is going on, you hear like this announcing, you hear this commentating like, 
tip 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 falling hard when it's like and it's coming in and then it like goes away and then it's like creeping back up i'm like what's going on and then it just goes off okay yada 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 boom boom ka ka what <laughs> I love it. She turned into a whole commentator. I was like, who taught my good sis this? Who taught my good sis this? Okay. I'm going to learn that entire part. I'm almost there. I, I made a TikTok. I'm almost there. I love that part. She went off. She went off. Monday, I'm overrated. Tuesday, you owe my... Ooh! <laughs> flip, flop, flip, flip, flop, and that's big. Oh, that is my part. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Beyonce is like, I notice it. One day, I'm, I'm this, oh, Beyonce, thank you for all that. But, and then the next minute, you the main one, you know, just going off for me. Oh, Beyonce, she sees it all. She sees it. I love Beyonce. Oh, my goodness. Uncle Johnny made my dress that cheap spandex. She looks a mess. <laughs> That's how she ended the song. <laughs> Get out of my face, Beyonce, please. Okay, so listen, heat it goes off, all right? So then the next song is Thick. Now listen, I resonate, re girl, I resonate with this song, child, because your girl Shantae ain't never been no skinny girl, okay? I've always had a little bit of juiciness to me, okay? Like always, and I love it, okay? It's something good to hold on to, right? So this is for the Thick Girls, okay? It was really giving me legs and hips and body yaddy <laughs> but no this is really a celebratory song just embrace your curves stretch marks dimples extra hips it's everything just love it because god didn't make no mistakes when he made you so if you a fluffy girl if you a thick girl mind you thick is t-h-i-q-u-e <laughs> yes ma'am so it was really for us thick girls okay that's all that was i love it and then, but my favorite part about this, again, it seems like my favorite parts of these songs are the transitions into the next song, just because it's so seamless, right? And the transitions creep up on you. So the next song is all up in your mind, but the way Thick slows down in, in its entirety, and you hear that, I'm all up in your mind. Like it starts to creep in, and then it goes into all up in your mind. Oh my goodness gracious, Beyonce, teach a class on just your transitions, please. And so the next song, All Up In Your Mind, <clears throat> basically it's like match my energy. It's like match my energy. I'm always thinking about you. I love you so much. I'm willing to do everything for you. I, You ask me to do stuff. I have no hesitations. I need you to reciprocate that for me, okay? I want to be the person that, you know, is on your mind 24-7 when you wake up, when you're going on about your day, and when you go to sleep. I need you to be on the same level as I am when it comes to you, okay? So I love that song. Now, in certain parts of the song, not all of it, but it almost slightly, like, kind of gave me a Rihanna feel just a little bit like he you know I'm a uh, 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 like it, yeah I don't know they kind of reminded me of Rihanna like I'm not sure what song I'm thinking about it's a few songs that are kind of like uh playing in my head right now but it gave me like a slight like a little bit and I was like oh I love the way because the way she's like flowing the way she's you know singing the songs and she's like talking but in a singing way it's I love it I love that song okay ciao Number 14, um, Beyonce, I, I know you're watching. Um, hey, uh, you're a troll. <laughs> um, you're a troll, actually. So number 14 is called America Has a Problem. Now, I just knew that this was finally going to be the moment that we got serious. I just knew that she was going to sit us down and teach us something. I just knew this was the moment where she called out political figures. She called out finances. She called out the education education system, health care. Just she had a worldwide wild range of topics to choose from, right? So if you're not sure about the original America has a problem, it's about the crack ep epidemic and you know that thing like that. Okay, yeah. So She's singing, and as she's singing, I'm realizing the problem that America has is her. And I was like, let's run this back, because surely she's not saying that her sex is like a drug and it'll have him addicted. Surely that's not what she's saying. I know you want it, fiending. I see you looking, scheming. 
So don't you know that, you know, her body, her sex is the drug. It's the problem that if you're not careful, if you hit this one too many times, you're going to be addicted. That's why I'm making you wait a week for it. Okay. I'm making you wait a week for it. So you won't get hooked. Okay. I was like, is she, it's quite genius actually. It's just that me, I just thought that she was going to be talking about, oh, we need to be doing better for our planet or something. I just knew that she was going to be giving us like a rhythm nation type of thing. I, I just knew it. Um, and she said, girl, no, I'm talking about how big my butt is. Like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Girl, it's really genius when you think about it. Like her body is the drug. Her sex is the thing that will have him addicted. I love Beyonce. Okay, so let's get into Pure Honey, baby. Now, this is the one that stands you back up, okay? This stands you right back up. We kind of slowed down for a second, but then she's like, okay, let's get back up, y'all. So, Pure slash Honey. This is for the pretty girls, the pretty boys, the ones who's not afraid to get on out there and dance and have a good time. Vogue, Vogue, Vogue down. That's all this is, okay? Bad bitches to the left money bitches to the right however you can be both me in the middle dance all night i said beyonce because i was showing running like okay girl which way you want me to go uh, mm. she said meet in the middle thank you oh i was so excited when she said i could be in the middle child but it's just a feel good time again it's just real vogue and things like that i love it. miss honey miss honey Miss Honey, I love that little sample. Oh my gosh, amazing. Such a, just paying respects and homage to those in that community. You know what I'm saying? Like it often gets overlooked or judged or anything like that. She's like, no, we bringing light to it. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Trust and believe me. Oh my goodness, I've always been interested in that. And you know, oh, that culture is so beautiful. That culture is really beautiful. And so for this entire album, for the most part, to really be uplifting them and celebrating that culture, it's unmatched. Like I'm getting chills. Like it's amazing. Cause I know a lot of us have our Uncle Johnny's or we have cousins, we have family members, we have friends who are a part of that culture that may not have support or you know, you know, you know. And oh my goodness, I've I just always loved it. So I love this album. I love this album. I'm not a part of that culture personally, but I do have people who are, and I love them dearly, and I just love that culture. Oh, she did her thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> she just did her thing. I absolutely love it. Absolutely. So, yeah, pure slash honey. Don't be funny with the money, honey. Oh! Yes, ma'am. Yes, I do got on my uh church shoes, curl. <laughs> my uh, house shoes. Can y'all tell I'm sleepy? Anyway, okay, and then for the very last song, <clears throat> we have Summer Renaissance with that amazing Donna Summer uh, uh, sample. Absolutely love it. And it's a great way to end the album and basically kind of just letting us know where she is at this stage of her life when it comes to her uh, relationship, her marriage, her career, just life. Like, I feel so good. I feel alive. I feel free. Me and my man loving on each other. My babies are beautiful. They're here. Like, my mama's good. My daddy's good. Ew, ew, ew. I love it. It's just like, not that the album wasn't on a positive note, but it just brings it to even more positivity, if that makes sense. Like, it's just a great way to wrap up the album and just her letting us know, I'm in this stage in my life, in all aspects of my life, where I just don't care. I feel good. I'm letting loose. And it's crazy because of given the state of when she was recording this album over these past three years, which has been who some of the most questionable years of our lives like oh my goodness and she really wants us to you know just you know relax and just have fun so i'm so glad that, that this album wasn't heavy hitting wasn't serious wasn't depressing or draining or uh, you know what i'm saying it was like we're dancing we're gonna be sweating and for a moment for that hour and however long this uh, album 